ghost, honey. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? Sorry, honey. Fresh. Thanks. Hi, Dana. Oh, yeah. What did you um, what did you want to talk to me about? Well, it's just that I'm really swamped. Okay, I'll be right in. Michelle Dumas. Hey, what's up? So I got the scoop on your new guy. You mean the random guy we met at the bar last night? He got my number, what else is there? Google, obviously. So I searched his name, and hey, did he talk about birds at all? Um, wait, you Google stalked him? How'd you even know his name? Jason Faduka. I took a picture of his license with my phone. So the first five entries were all about this Jason Faduka, the bird watcher. Because I don't see why a bird watcher would need so much hairspray. So, it's either the Jason who went to the state championships in high school varsity baseball in South Carolina, but then I think he would have had an accent. Or it's the Jason who scored a 6.5 on his hot or not profile. Michelle, really Michelle, I gotta go, I gotta go talk to my boss. Consider the yeah. fact that his eyes were set really wide apart. Email me his hot or not profile, thank you. Totally. <laughs> Sorry, got stuck on a... Uh, client call. You wanted to see me. Listen, Jessica, I'm concerned you're not satisfied with your work here. We try to foster a challenging, engaging environment, but I'm not seeing you step up to the plate. You're always stressed. You know, you're always, oh, bringing that energy into the room, and we want someone that's a team player that shows up and knows how to play well and, and interact and have a good time. You know, it takes me back to when I first got out of my MBA program, and I was <laughs> hanging out with all the guys. It was a big guys club back then, guy club. And uh, it's that sense of going for it, running past people, pushing them out of your way to get to that finish line, breaking through, jumping up, making that three pointer at the buzzer. You have to get out there and take what is yours and own it. Take what's not yours too, because you know what? Once you have it, it is yours. Those are some words to live by. Do you think that's the answer I was looking for? Because it is. That is the answer, Jessica. Live by my words to you today. Live by your client, Suzette Monticello, life coach, who says every moment is a curse, unless you break that curse with blood and sweat and, and tears and not sleeping at night. And who needs food? Because I am on top of the world. I am making things happen. I am my own idol. I am Ganesh. We should go out and stab some people. You know, eating raw is the way to go because you don't need to cook things. It just makes it brown and takes all the goodness out. And that's why I think you just need to focus and take charge of your situation. Oh, I will. Take charge of this situation. That's the spirit, Jessica. No time like the present. Stuart? Hey, Jess, what's up? Which one did you take? What? Don't play dumb, Stuart. Which one did you take? Which magazine did you use for bathroom reading, Stuart? Calm down, Jess, I put it back. That's the problem, asswipe. Which one did you take? I, I don't know. The, the one with the list of cool New York things to do on the cover? It's time out New York. They all have a list of cool New York things to do on the cover. I don't know. Concerts. Maybe. Or a list of restaurants. No, maybe it was clubs. 
Maybe it was bars. Bars and clubs? Yeah! I don't know! Jessica, we recycle in this office. I just read about this bar that opened up on Pitt and Stanton. It just opened up last Thursday. Mondays are Gossip Girl Nights. Tuesdays are beer pong tournaments. Wednesdays are karaoke. By the way, prepare to get your ass slapped. Thursdays are Tranny Thursdays, and Friday through Sunday are for tourists. And you couldn't remember which one it was. 